doing, Mike? I just woke up. Good morning, everybody. I know I haven't combed my hair yet. I'm eating my breakfast. Uh, what I do, you know, I'll share some of my training secrets. You know, being a professional bass fisherman, we have to be in shape. You know, you see me in the gym and, and working out. Uh, I eat yogurt most mornings. I put a handful of walnuts in it. It's a good way to start the day. Uh, yogurt is good for you. I've learned that as I've gotten older. For those of you that are busy, and you don't get out in the sun very much, take vitamin D. You know, vitamin D is very important to your body. And I take a 2000 uh, vitamin D every morning, but we've been having a ball up here. Uh, it's always so good when you come to these, uh, the FLW tournaments and the other big tournaments, uh, you see old friends, you make new friends, and it's just a great uh, time to be an American, to enjoy the freedoms we have. And so just want to wish everybody to have an awesome day today. Uh, I wanted to touch base with you. I have clamped down the videos the last couple of days. We are getting, the tournament starts tomorrow. We're getting very close to the start of the tournament. Uh, the FLW tournament up Lake Champlain will be Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, 18 through 20 July. So I hope you all can go out and uh, go to FLW Live uh, Thursday and Friday to watch the weigh-ins, probably starting around 2 p.m. in the afternoon. And then the, the finals will be Saturday. We'll, they'll cut to the top 10 pros. And this is 17 July. It happens to be my father's birthday. My father passed uh, nine years ago, Ivan Hall, and he served with uh, George Patton in World War II. He was one of those men that fought for our freedom. And so everybody, let's uh, continue, all patriotic Americans, let's continue to fight for our freedom because it looks like we're in a battle right now uh, with, with a lot of the people on the side of the left uh, who, who want to take away our, our rights and freedoms as Americans. I'd like to go down to the FLW stage and show you a little bit about uh, the preparation that they do. I might even tell you it's such hard work for the FLW crew when they put together a tournament. And it's just, that, that's one of the neat things. You see so many people with so many diversified skills working together to, to put on a really great show. So we hope you all enjoy it the next three days. I believe the lake's going to be rocking and rolling, and so let's go. God bless America. Giving you just a little tour down the uh, Route 9 here. I thought you might enjoy a minute or two of it just to give you a glimpse of the surrounding Plattsburgh area and, and what's going on. And uh, I am watching where I'm driving, so if I look away from the camera, please excuse me, but I want to... Uh, make sure safety first you know my cameraman Paul Bashman uh, is running the camera he's been a lot of fun having him up here this week this is his first big tournament I hope he does well uh, we've got everything locked and loaded uh, all tackle ready uh, the tournament meeting is going to be in a couple of hours and we're just kind of cruising down here just to give you all just a, a little feel for Plattsburgh and uh uh, you can see the lake behind me uh, just finished all my tackle prep uh, we've got everything ready to go you know it just spoke to some very nice people that live here over the past 30 years uh, very friendly people in the town of Plattsburgh and it's always such a joy to be here and we're actually here at the Plattsburgh City Marina and this is where the weigh-in is going to be so we're gonna see if my cameraman can keep up with me but follow me for a minute let's uh, 
let's just take a look at a few things here now. All right, look at this. You see there's some sponsor logos. Uh-oh, my cameraman almost lost himself. You, we've got the tubs here. Where what are people, these? What are people, these, Mike? These are the uh, these are the tubs where we uh, make sure the fish stay nice and healthy at the weigh-in. And uh, this is the FLW trailer. And so let's, if you'll keep moving with me, uh, this is where they make it all happen. You know, this this is the big stage. Okay. You know, this is where everybody likes to hold up those big fish. And uh, uh, I just want to say God bless America from this, but I want to thank FLW. It takes a lot of work to set everything up, and they've got a big crew, and they've got a great team. And so let's keep moving. I, I don't want to stay up here too long. <laughs> All right, here we go. Now, I want, want everybody to see this. This is how you tune in to watch the FLW uh, weigh-ins. So everybody to be sure to go to flwfishing.com. Tomorrow, starting about 2, you'll get to see in all the excitement. Uh, the weigh-ins will be Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. And also, for things like the FLW Tour, there's just a lot of neat coverage here. So, here we go. Uh, this is actually where they check your fish to make sure that uh, they're of legal size. So, I believe in this tournament, the minimum length is 15 inches. Wow! I'm going to have to get busy. That's catching some big fish. Now as we walk this way, here are the, the tanks. This is the fish holding tanks with all the aerators uh, as we stand in line to uh, weigh our fish. And one of my favorite things here, I always, I love Ranger boats. I mean, you never know that. And other things like Gary Yamamoto baits, I'm sure people uh, know that's my top secret bait. But here we go. Let's take a look at this. Uh, here's the Costa boat. It's in my favorite color, it's blue. I like any color as long as it's blue. But let's take a look at the uh, at the boat for a minute. Uh, this is a uh, 520L. You know, this this is one of the favorites uh, of the bass fishermen now. The the L series, uh, just a great boat. Uh, handles rough water well and. Uh, just a, you know, Ranger's the Cadillac of bass boats. You, you know, there's no question about it. If you want the very best in a bass boat, safest boat, quality. When I fish in my Ranger, I, I have a 521C. It's like fishing in my living room. You know, I actually feel like I'm in my living room while I'm fishing. And when you have comfort like that in a boat, it's just amazing. And let me tell you folks, this lake's going to be rocking and rolling this week. And you want to be in a ranger for sure. So let's keep moving on. Let's give the Costa, back up a little bit, let's show the Costa. Uh, they're the big sponsor of this. And I do want to uh, tout Costa sunglasses. If you look at my sunglasses here, uh, these are Costa Corbinas. Uh, they're amazing. Uh, I'm using a color called Copper Mirror. Uh, it allows you to see down in the water. It's very important now. In practice, I saw a lot of bass in the water. I actually saw some before I cast to them and caught them. So this is a, an effective tool. You know, as a professional bass fisherman, you want the very best in tools. Costa sunglasses are the very best for fishermen I don't care what you fish for, Costa is the very best. So let's move on here just a little bit more and uh, just show you out to my right is the ramp. You know, this is where all the fishermen are going to be launching to my right about uh, two or three hundred yards. And this is where all of the uh, activity will be in the morning very early. Everybody would be pumped. They're all thinking they're going to win this tournament. You know, that's why we're all here. Uh, we believe we can win. 
Uh, we've been out here busting these big waves all week and uh, getting our baits ready and figuring out where they are. And there's a lot of water out here, everybody. You know, to me, this is kind of like the Atlantic Ocean at times. And, and if I understand correctly, I think people have done research. Actually, some of these big inland lakes can be rougher than the ocean at times. You know, just, just given of, of, of all the different, the, the, the real deep water and, and the wind direction. And so we're all praying for a safe tournament this week. Uh, we just wanted to give you a little bit of an introduction. Uh, the tournament meeting uh, is going to be later on. The registration, I believe, is 2 to 4 today, and the actual tournament meeting is 4.30. What's up, Mike? So, Thinking about an upgrade? You're not filming me, are you? Hey, wait a minute. All right. I've had enough of this. <laughs> I'm taking that away. Oh, watch out. I'm going to film you now. Oh, dear. Okay, I'm tired of you <laughs> filming me. You know, I, now we're going to film Paul Giorgio. So I'd like to interview you, Paul. And this, I know this is your first time as a co-angler on an FLW Costa event. Definitely. I just want you to share with people about how you've uh, felt so far being through uh, four days of grueling practice. And how do you feel about being here? And what would you share with, uh, with other anglers about coming on out here to try this? Honestly, um, I haven't fished a tournament since 2013. Uh, I used to fish some real amateur stuff. And this is really, like Mike said, my first big tournament. And uh, even though a lot of things have changed in America uh, over the last six or seven years since I've been away, uh, the fellowship, uh, the brotherly love in this fishing community is alive and well. Uh, there's healthy competition, huge amounts of banter between anglers, but you know what? We've helped each other this week. Uh, we've needed help, we've given help, we've met some great people. Uh, everyone's been really, really nice to me. Uh, everything is super professional. You can see the setup behind us. Uh, FLW do a great job doing this. Um, it's been an experience for me. Uh, I've never caught a smallmouth bass before. I caught my first smallmouth and uh, just really an exciting week with me. Mike's been a blessing all week, taught me about life and fishing and just I, I just can't tell you enough how lucky I am to be here and uh, if you haven't done tournament fishing before it's something you should definitely try and uh, we're going to see you next on the, at our next stop on the Potomac River and uh, follow us on uh, YouTube, it's Mike Hall Fishing Pro and uh, it's a true blessing to be out here. We love Plattsburgh. And okay, sorry great. for interrupting but I'm not going to let you off the hook so fast. I've got a few more questions for you. I want you to share with people, you know you're about to go out in a rough lake for the next two days at least, possibly three. How do you feel about going out there in this big water and what's your impression of this water? Now, now you and I are both Potomac River watermen. Just give the people a reference for the, the size of this water and the magnitude of the waves and just right. share a little bit with us. Okay, so when we launch out of here, uh, the first thing that made an impression on me is I know roughly, you know, on a clear day, uh, the horizon is anywhere between 60 and 90 miles. And you literally cannot see the end of this lake. So, curvature of the earth, this thing is huge, it's a monster. When you've got that southerly wind blowing up here, um, you've got massive depth changes from 400 feet to 5 feet in a small distance. Uh, that really churns up the water, gets you some big waves and rogue waves. And that, I think, is the thing that made the biggest impression on me. You don't get steady tables of waves. You will get waves from all directions. You'll get rogue waves. Difficult to predict on a boat that doesn't have much freeboard. So uh, everyone needs to be really careful. Um, I'm a saltwater guy, born and raised on the ocean. And I tell you, the waves here are more unpredictable um, than any ocean waves I've seen. You just don't know. Um, you know, you don't okay. know where they're going to come from. Okay, so. final final question. I'll let you off the hook here. I want you to talk to people about the Mike Hall Fishing Pro YouTube videos. <laughs> I want you to talk about that in the light of the upcoming FLW Potomac River Tournament that's coming up in the middle of August. Uh, talk to people about uh, the videos and uh, what you see as, as a future vision for our videos and where they're going. Well. Um, we've really only kind of been putting out regular videos for the last couple of months. Uh, we've done videos now and again, but really we're starting to be more regular. Uh, we want people to subscribe to the channel. We want to entertain you and we need feedback. 
Uh, that's the most important thing. We want feedback, how we can do things better, what you want more of, what you want less of. We're learning, uh, we want your feedback. We do this because we enjoy doing it. That's the first thing. Uh, it's not about the amount of subscribers, it's about sharing our passion, making you want to fish more and uh, you know just just showing okay. you how much we enjoy ourselves. All right, well we're going to wrap it uh, here. Let's trade back. I'll let you right, you, you can put it back on me for a second. Go on. Okay, we're going to uh, publish this video hopefully early this morning for you. Uh, bottom line, a lot of excitement. Uh, I'm, I feel like I'm ready to go out and catch some fish. Uh, you're going to see a lot of big fish weighed in. Uh, this is one of the greatest fisheries in America. And special thanks again to some of my sponsors. Uh, Gary Yamamoto makes the greatest plastic baits you can use. Uh, if you're on the water, uh, the Gary Yamamoto is the absolute best bait for catching the big bass. And, and I can't say enough about Ranger boats. Uh, Wayne, the uh, the Ranger tech, uh, just the other day, uh, he put a new winch strap on for me. My winch strap was getting a little bit worn, and a very complex process to change that. And uh, I was so impressed on, on, on how quickly he did it, uh, how friendly he was. But I've been with Ranger a long time, and uh, they're just awesome. And uh, also Mercury Motors. I want to thank Mercury. Uh, Scott Beatty, uh, Dave is up here, Dave McCormick is on site, Dave has already helped me, I had line wrapped around my prop when I came off the ramp the other day, so these service crews are pit crews, and Power Pole, I want to shout out to you, uh, I met Ian last night, uh, David White's another good friend of mine, uh, I couldn't do without my Power Poles. And all the fishermen are grateful for all the service crews that are here. You guys really are our pit crews. So uh, God bless each and every one of you, FLW team and all the service crews here. And let's go, everybody. Let's have a great, safe, entertaining bass tournament from Lake Champlain. Mike Hall signing out. Hit the subscribe button, everybody. Over and out. Yeah. And what we're about to do, uh, I'm going to ride over to where the service crews are really quick. And we just want to give you a glimpse of how hard those service crews work. Because those guys are awesome. And they work together as a team. And they'll all stay together until the last boat is gone. All the different manufacturers. Isn't that neat? The Ranger, the Power Pole, the Mercury... Uh, all the different ones that are there, uh, they're not going to leave until all, everybody's attended to. So they're a pit crew. And I'm surprised somebody hasn't written an article about it. Okay, boys and girls, just going to show you the pit crew over here. This is basically, without these guys, especially on big water like this, these tournaments wouldn't happen. These are all the support trailers. We've got Evan Rood, Ranger Boats, of course, Mercury Marine. So we've got Wayne over here. He's running things at the Ranger trailer this week. They've been great help to us. Did some repairs on that winch for Mike. Got everything straightened out. We've got Dave over here at Mercury Marine. Dave's got a long history in boat racing and uh, he's a really awesome guy. We love him. And uh, he actually knows my hero, Reggie Fountain. So that's pretty exciting right there. And then, of course, we've got Ian over at Power Pole doing some work on the trailer. He's busy right now, working hard, get this boat up and ready for tomorrow. And uh, everyone's super excited. You can see the camaraderie going on amongst the fishermen.
everybody out there, I want you to have an awesome day. And we're going to be working hard tomorrow. Hopefully we can show you some big fish. But the bass fishing is a tricky game. You know, you got the weather, you got the behavior of the fish, you got the storms. There's a lot of variables going on here this week. So fasten your seatbelts. This is going to be an exciting event. God bless America. Everybody have a great week, and I hope you tune in to Mike Call Fishing Pro videos. If you haven't subscribed to my videos, go out there and take a look at them. They're fun, they're entertaining, and they're informative. Smash my subscribe button. I'd like to get the, the uh, subscribers up. So y'all have an awesome day. God bless America.